Well, praise the Lord Jesus Christ for his amazing goodness. All I can say is Jesus first, everything else follows. All the way, 100% of the time, 365 days a year, 366 on a leap year, Jesus is the King. And here I am on my 136th podcast and uh, I'm just coming in here to say that this podcast will wrap up season one of um, my podcasting, my, my stellar podcasting career so far. I just, I'm going to um, wrap things up for season one with this episode. Um, my family are moving house. My two older children are moving into new accommodations for their university drama. Uh, my son's a, a in drama school. My daughter starts a new job with um, the Royal Ballet uh, in August. Um, so we've got a lot of things happening in our home right now. And I know that I just need to focus on helping my uh, children. Uh, we got uh, one of our younger ones is also moving on up to a new school, so to his secondary school. So I just really want to be present here as a father and as a husband, and um, and and also just to. You know, sometimes punctuating. This is, I, I believe, why certainly one of the reasons why God instituted the concept and the principle of Sabbath. So we punctuate our lives with seasons where we are not just putting out, but we're allowing him to uh, speak into us. You know, it's no good if we're just breathing out all the time. You would soon turn blue and keel over on the floor. Or sometimes we have to just breathe in. And that should be something that we do uh, every day in prayer and in our fellowship with the Lord. But I also believe that there, there are kind of times where we uh, more intentionally punctuate yeah, and give ourselves some space to um, not feel so pressured, give ourselves space so we can uh, think and breathe and hear more clearly. Sometimes in a lot of activity, um, we can kind of stir the waters so much with all of our busyness that they become cloudy. Yeah, sometimes we have to just get, allow a few days or even a few weeks for let the dust settle and let the waters become clearer again so we can see more clearly the way forward and the next steps that the Holy Ghost would have us take. And so that's what we're going to be doing. It's going to be quite an active sabbatical, if you like. As I say, I'm moving two of my older kids into new homes. I'm moving to a new house. So there's a lot happening <laughs> Um, and I guess that that's one of the reasons. And also because I want to focus on kind of the next stage of my creative journey. Um, we're working uh, with the Christian Creative Academy to develop something called the Creators Highway, which is a, a year long program uh, to help people discover their awesome, discover their worth, and then um, help them and show them ways in which they can then share that with the world. So it's... Um, yeah, and, and just really to discover themselves and then discover ways in which they can put themselves out there to bring value to other people. So I'm, uh, I'll am i be continuing to create content for that in preparation for opening the doors wide uh, in September. Um, but we just want to, I just really want to say how much I appreciate anyone who's being listening, anyone who's interacted, engaged with, got in contact with me over this season. Um, season one will be wrapping today um, and I feel uh, confident that I have delivered value. I feel confident that I've shared my heart in, a, in an honest and an open way and I hope it's been helpful to you. Certainly there are a couple of things before I wrap up that I'd love to share, just things that I've discovered in the making of this podcast and some of the other things that I've been doing over these past months. And um, I, I think that they'll be relevant and helpful to you. Number one, yeah, it's very easy to get caught in the 
thought and the idea that you have to do a lot of complicated things before you begin. And um, despite being like a prolific creative, despite putting myself out there again and again and again and jumping into the ring, even though I've been knocked over a few times, you know, you could get the impression that, you know, I um, am <laughs> like <laughs> this kind of bravado to just start moving. I I'll be honest with you. There are certain things, and this is this true for anyone, when we start something new, there's a level of kind of uh, anxiety that sometimes comes with that. Now, podcasting was one of those things for me. And I was thinking, you know, I've got to have all of the little jingle at the beginning and the jingle at the end. And I've got to have all sorts of kind of some kind of very special structure for the show, etc, etc, etc. And, you know, and then I've got to know how to sign up to Apple podcasts and this podcast and this platform and that platform, etc, etc, etc. And I've got to have this mic and da, 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 da. Da, 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 da. on and on it goes and we pile up the reasons why we can't get started and so in the end I just chose a kind of funky little bit of music for the beginning and at the end just like some kind of uh, like just another piece of music like copyright free music um, and just said hey jump over to my website at davidleemartin.com now I'm sure I could utilize that more powerfully um, and probably will in time to come but the the problem was that I probably will in time to come was the thing that was stopping me getting started. You are much better off steering a moving vehicle than waiting until you feel as though everything is in place and everything is stacked up perfectly before you do that. Because the problem is most of the time you won't even begin. Once you begin, and this is the second point I want to make. So the first point is, hey, just do it. Just do it however imperfectly it may be, because once you begin doing it, you'll then know the real questions to ask and you'll understand that the changes that are necessary for you to make. While we allow things to just remain in the realm of ideas and um, imagination, you know, we really don't know until we're actually on the ground and in the trenches what is re what really matters in any creative project. So just get started. Secondly, um, what I found is you, uh, and I say you, because I'm just speaking of my own experience here, but I know that most of us are like the rest of us. You have a much greater capacity than you believe you have. You have a much greater capacity that will be drawn upon when you step out. And it's almost like you've got to step out before you see the miracle take place. And it's not going to happen as sometimes we're like sat there waiting and thinking, well, when God does this, then I will. Or when this happens, then I can. Um, but really, sometimes it's like you've got to turn that the other the way round and make the move. Um, I know certainly in the scriptures it says, seek first the kingdom. Yeah, seek God, draw near to God, and He and He will then draw near to you. There's a there's a there's a place where when we begin to move, it activates things and gives permission, if you like, for something to take place. When we move, He moves, and so um, and I found that in doing so you'll be amazed at your capacity. As I say, since beginning this season, I've done 136 episodes, daily episodes, five days a week without fail. And um, that to me just seemed so incredibly impossible previously. Not only that, each episode has been based on a piece of writing that I either had in my hand already that I'd already written, but most of them have actually also sprung from daily blogs, daily writing that I've done, daily thoughts that I've had and recorded and shared with the world. And so I was writing every day, producing a podcast every day, and at the same time doing 
all of the other elements of my publishing business, developing the Christian Creative Academy, building out that content, writing books. I've published a number of books during the, in this season as well. So I just want to say to you, you know, you will not know your capacity until you give it the opportunity to be tested and to be called upon. And you will be surprised when you do that, just how capable you are and just how resourceful you can be to make it happen. So I encourage you get started. Don't underestimate your ability. Don't underestimate what you can can do if you'll only give yourself the opportunity to be stretched and to grow and to affect change out there in the world. And so with that, I'm going to wrap up season one. I'm going to be uh, returning into the podcasting cockpit in September. And um, I just want to just pray for you as I, as I kind of close here. Father, I just want to thank you for your incredible goodness towards us. I want to thank you for the creative call and anointing on the people listening to my voice. I just declare, God, that those creative giftings that you have planted will be unlocked within them and that we will see incredible fruit, Lord, for for every seed that they sow, for every step that they take. I pray, God, that your favor and your blessing would be upon it and it would open doors and unlock potential. Father, we just declare and thank you for all of the possibilities that you have placed in our hand, for the opportunities that you've given each one of us. I pray, Father, for the stirring of the waters, the stirring of the heart, Lord, that people would be provoked and propelled to begin making things and putting their value out into the world. Lord, I just declare, Lord, that according to your word, just as you say in your word, we are made in your image, made to be makers. I thank you, God, that your creative anointing rests upon each person and that, God, you're going to use them to extend your kingdom and bless and benefit many, many people. I look forward to seeing you in September. God bless you and thanks again for listening. Well, thanks for listening. Hopefully uh, it's been an encouragement to you today. If you want to connect any further, you can do so through my website at davidleemartin.com. Have a great day.